I think I view the global water crisis a little differently. Well, I like to look at it as a opportunity. You know, when we think about 2.2 billion people, that really is an incredible opportunity to change 2.2 billion people's lives. It's significant, it's deadly, it's severe, but it really is an opportunity for us to commit to working alongside people and solving that. This is a solvable crisis. We knew that from the onset because literally we built water treatment systems and we put them into a disaster and we turned safe water on within a matter of minutes. When we first got started 22 years ago, we came out of a very technical world and we had a very strong technical background. We knew how to design solutions to make water safe to drink. One of the ways that Water Mission has really evolved over the years on an engineering level. Uh, the first I would really say is our use of, of solar. Water Mission was one of the first to really jump in and to try solar as a means of powering pumps. We always have to have power for our pumps to make sure that the water can go through whatever the, the treatment method is going to be, to store the water safely, even to get it from where it was originally to where it needs to go. Same thing with some of the sensors we use with some of our remote monitoring uh, technology. None of it's new, but it's just how we're using it maybe is in, in a new way. When Water Mission first started out, I think we thought, oh, we could go in and we could provide water treatment systems and immediately communities would be able to manage that and sustain that on their own. We knew how to design solutions to make water safe to drink. What we didn't have any understanding or appreciation for was how do you keep things moving and keep things running. Technology has a role, but technology is not going to solve the global water crisis, it's people. When you come in and you do something for somebody, it's quick and it's easy and it, it might feel good. But when you do something with people, it's long and it's hard, it's frustrating, but you ultimately create this ownership and dignity with people. And Water Mission really believes in taking that approach, is not doing things for people, but with them, and really working alongside them, building trust, building those relationships, and not just training and leaving, but mentoring and, and guiding. And it's a significant part of our program that we invest heavily in, is the people side. I don't want the systems that we put in place to be just giving water to the community tomorrow, the next month, next six months. I want it for the, the next lifetime. Those kids that are now growing up in that community with the system, I want them to be able to access water for the rest of their lives. We do not need to go and invent a solution because it just doesn't exist. We can do something about this today.